You have eyes, but you cannot see. Well, I'm looking for a white girl. Interesting. Do you know her name? Your house seats right now belong to my great grandfather. This year, I decided to submit one of my films. And then as a part of the film, you also get invited to the masterclass. I think that the one-on-one -on -one time with Femi has potentially been like the most useful because it's looking at your own content. She has had to work to persuade him the more it's on her and the less it is just something that happened. What inspired me to join the masterclass? Most of my experience in film has been on the camera side, the technical side. So I really wanted to find out more about directing so that I can take on my own projects. So from being the dominant man in the space, he's become small in the space. And it's useful if you give him a clear objective in the scene, right? So for example, if I said to you, you want to get in and out of this meeting as quickly as possible. That's an objective. The reason why I wanted this masterclass was I was thinking that this one-on-one, -on -one, since I've been around last year, right? I'd actually get a one-on-one -on -one with a, an expert that is actually telling me and believing in me. So this year we decided actually it would be much better, much more interesting to work with material that the participants had generated themselves. So they wrote scripts. Uh, the scripts then we workshopped on the very first day, we did rehearsal, we talked about all the different elements that we needed to think about when we approach, you know, how we want to go and direct a scene. So we talked about scene analysis, subtext, point of view, all of those types of things. And then we went through a period of rehearsal where we were workshopping all of these different uh, scenes. And each of the filmmakers had time with actors and, you know, with the, the various tutors to be able to explore the scene and find out exactly how they wanted to go about shooting those scenes. On day two, we've been shooting scenes, uh, so all over, you know, both Maisha Gardens and uh, 32 Degrees East. So the idea really was to give them a very practical-based workshop, an opportunity to be able to listen and to talk and to discuss, you know, different approaches to realising a scene and then to actually have the opportunity to go out and to shoot a scene of their own material, hopefully, you know, putting to practice some of the things that we had discussed and some of the new things they may have learnt about how they might go about approaching the process of filmmaking. What I learned here, like from that experience of leveling the acting with the actors, I'm definitely going to keep working on that and it's going to help me prepare for the future film project. Action. One lives in such a wonderful calm. What I like about Femi is it's not like he spoon feeds you. He asks you your opinion, respects it, and then if it's not really what uh, he, as a professional, thinks you should do, he advises you otherwise. It's more like a counselling person. It was really helpful to realise that also like the nature of the acting also depends on the story. You deserve better than a white lady. You mm, think so? From working with those filmmakers, that, that has been a benefit to them and that has been something that I think helps them to be able to go on, you know, to in continued inquiry, continued exploration, continued um, kind of, you know, looking at their own practice and seeing how they can develop those things even better. <laughs>